I'm doing you guys got to get, get, back, get it back together this week and talk about just trying to do that and getting back on the winning track. Uh, it's really just all about refocusing, getting, uh, getting everybody back focused on this week. Uh, learning the mistakes we made last week and really learning from those, but then kind of removing it from our from our memory and moving on. You know what we got to do, so you know we're getting ready for Bedlam now. What was maybe the overall takeaway just from watching the film on Saturday? I'm sure that was tough, but what uh, was yeah, it? really just not detailed, um, not disciplined. Everything we needed to be going into that game, really. So it was really just guys were kind of uh, being lazy with their eyes. We, were, we we did a poor job tackling too. So really just all around everything we kind of got to improve on. How do you fix the tackling week to week, knowing that? Gordon is the guy that's running through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, she was really just about wrapping up. I mean, guys were in the position to make the tackle, so it's really just about wrapping up and keeping them wrapped. So that's about it. I, I got trust in the guys that they're going to do that this week. What's the challenge, though? This guy is rushed for, you know, 270 yards the last two weeks, and you gotta, you got to try to stop him. Yeah, I mean, I think it's going to be a great challenge for us. Uh, I think we are definitely up for the challenge, too. Um, guys got to refocus, you know, recalibrate and kind of get back physical. You know, if we come in this game more physical than them, I don't really see it being an issue for us. Talk about what they're doing, though, to get him going and get those yardage. Well, yeah, they're having great success. How does that Sure, happen? I mean, he, he gets a lot of carries. Uh, he's a great running back, big, tall. So, I mean, shoot, he just kind of has all the, like, ability to make those plays happen. So he's, he, he has some speed, too. Breaks a lot of tackles, so we're just gonna have to, you know, do a good job with him. Desan, I know the last two weeks have been a lot about, you know, deceptions and mm -hmm. eye candy things like that. What have been some of the early kind of points you're keying in on with, with OSU for offense? Uh, I mean, there's a couple different things. Uh, probably half of them I probably wouldn't even say, but um, you know, just keys as in like who's their, who's their, w which one of the linemen are giving up runner pass, little stuff like that. We just kind of got to all dig in, do our part of film. Guys got to come in, watch the extra film. So we kind of just all got to be a part of it this week. It can't be half foot in, half foot out. Everyone's got to be all in this week. Is this offense a little more straightforward than maybe what you've seen the last two? Just because of... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'd, I'd say that. I'd agree with that. But I can also see a lot of deception stuff going on, you know, especially when it comes to playing us. Uh, a lot of teams do that. So I could definitely see them doing a little bit of that. But just like in a broad uh, perspective, yeah, they're pretty uh, like dumbed down compared to um, UCF and uh, Kansas. So what was the flight back like Sunday? Did, did, did anybody step up and you know, speak to the team? Uh, yeah, there was a couple guys that stepped up, a couple of the older guys. Danny stepped up. Key says something. I mean, really, uh, guys kind of know what the deal is. I mean, we still have everything we want ahead of us. Let's just focus up, focus on winning each week, one at a time. So we're focused on going 1-0 and this week. And then what was it like yesterday when you guys came in to watch film? What was the opposite? Uh, so we kind of already knew what it was going to be like. I mean, everyone came in, tough skin, ready to take coaching. Shoot, and let's, fi let's fix our problems, let's we'll scratch it, and then let's move on to Bedlam. Communication wise. Here, you, um, I'm sorry, in your short time here, have you been educated on the importance of the Bedlam rivalry and all that? Uh, I am really this week. Honestly, uh, not a lot during this season because uh, we've just been focused on next week's game or, this, or the, the game we're going into. So the guys are kind of telling me about it now. I heard it's a crazy environment. So, you know, I'm excited to go in there and play my game. Yeah, along those lines, do you kind of have to anticipate it's going to be an emotional, you know, tense atmosphere with it being Bedlam and, and oh, all that? Oh, for sure. I mean, from what I've watched, I've watched some past games, like just some highlights and stuff like that. It looks really intense. So, I mean, I'm excited. I love games like that. You know, just like how Texas was, you know, I love games like this. So I think this is where we're, we're going to shine as a team. Doing flat last drive Saturday. Mm -hmm. Communication. How much you guys miss Danny as far as getting stuff into the sideline and getting everything set up? Um, you said with Danny, like as in yeah, missing him. Yeah, as far as the, it looked like there wasn't a lot of great communication. Guys weren't always set on that last drive, especially yeah. that fourth down. Yeah, um, that was kind of like as a whole. I wouldn't even really say that's more of a Danny being out problem. I'd say Kip did a pretty good job of like really, you know, getting the D line set and everything like that. Uh, just with a change like that, obviously Danny's a great leader for us. Um, you know, does a lot for us. But when he went out, I'd say that was just a. Uh, a broad communication error, not even something I think specifically Danny would have fixed. Son, you guys have talked about faceless opponents all season. I mean, as you're watching past highlights of Bedlam, mm -hmm. how important is it to win this last one? Uh, I think it's very important. Uh, I think it's very important really just because it's our next game, honestly. Like I said, I haven't really been detailed on uh, everything about the rival, but I, I mean, I love it because it's the next game. So, shoot, you know, I'm ready for it. I think it's huge just because it is our last time playing them. I know this has been going on for over 100 years. So, you know, just having this opportunity, last game there, too. We love being road dogs, so we're going we're gonna to take advantage of it. Desan, you mentioned Kip 
you know, just then. I, I know it was a tough game all mm -hmm. around, but did he maybe show something? Oh. Did you see him step up? Yes, I think I think Kip stepped up huge. I mean, obviously no one planned for that to happen with, uh, with Danny. So, I mean, I think Kip stepped in. He did great, too. He was making plays. There's little stuff he got to fix, and the way that was going, everyone has something they got to fix. But I think Kip stepped in and did a great job. You guys stressed discipline pretty strongly last mm -hmm. week. Didn't really go as planned. Mm -hmm. Was there anything, what do you feel like went wrong in that category, and is there anything different in the preparation this week? Man, I really wish I could tell you. Um, I wish I could tell you. Maybe just lack of focus, honestly. Maybe lack of focus. Um, guys kind of came in after that lightning delay, and we refocused. And then maybe after halftime, guys kind of unfocused. You know, that was a lot of breaks we had. But there really is no excuse for it. I mean, guys got to lock in. I mean, so shoot, I can't really go into their minds and say what they were thinking. But I just know everyone has to lock in for this weekend beyond the rest of the season. Hassan, what do you think about the Texas game and how it ended? I mean, you got the bye week and then you got the way you guys played against UCF and last week against Kansas. Is there some kind of disconnect between how things went with Texas? Uh, no, nah, we don't even really talk about Texas anymore. Uh, I haven't really even seen a Texas clip or guys talking about it, honestly. I think guys just need to refocus back on their jobs, honestly. I don't really think it has much to do with Texas. I think it just has much to do with how focused are we and how willing are we to put everything on the line every week. Did you guys get unfocused after beating Texas, maybe? Uh, I wouldn't say we got unfocused at all because we had a bye week. So during that bye week, we were actually planning for UCF we kind of moved on during that bye week, so I wouldn't. My bad. I wouldn't say that guys are stuck on Texas or anything like that. I haven't heard one dude even speak about them. If I, honestly, if anything, I've been hearing dudes say, "Scratch it out your mind completely." It already feels like it was a while ago for me. I'm pretty much done talking about the first time we played Texas, so we're ready to move on. Son, you mentioned the delay. What all goes on in there when you guys are in the locker room for 57 minutes? And, and uh, it was really just like halftime, honestly, like an extended halftime, like making adjustments, you know, talking about what we saw, stuff like that. We really just treated it like halftime, honestly, just kind of getting back ready. Talk about Kit, but she had a Kobe. Uh, I think Kobe played great, too. Um, there was a couple plays where, you know, you saw he got reached and it could have been a hold or something like that. But I think Kobe played great, too. He showed great leadership. That's a really smart dude. He really can get the defense set up however he wants. So I think Kobe went out there, showed his leadership. Um, I think he played great. He's going to have a great future, too, for sure. So what do you think about, you know, Oklahoma State's offense, you know, going up against them? Uh, I think it's a great offense. Obviously, they have a great running back. Uh, we're just going to have to do a great job staying disciplined, reading our keys, and, uh, you know, contain, you know, uh, slowing down that run game and limiting the explosive plays. Uh, you know, your first time playing OSU, were you mm -hmm. excited to, you know, be a part of the last one? Oh, for sure. You know, it's my first one and my last one. So I'm excited to be a part of it. I really, like I said, I'm learning more about it as the week goes on, more about the rival. But uh, I definitely can't wait to get out there. I heard the atmosphere is crazy. I know their coach said that amongst the players, he doesn't really feel like it's much of a rivalry. Um, yeah. do, do you feel that amongst your team that, you know, it, um, it's, you know. To like, be honest, I couldn't really tell you because we, we really do prepare every week like this. So I really couldn't tell you what the guys think exactly. For me, I mean, I guess I could say it's not really a rival for me uh, just because I'm still learning about it. It's my first one. But I, I can tell you, we're all taking it very seriously. We're all um, really locked in. Guys really need, want to make a point this week. So guys need uh, to prove a point that we aren't the team that we showed last week at all. So and we're one of the best teams in the country. So that's kind of what we're trying to show this week. So you mentioned 